Today, the White House website, whitehouse.gov, created a virtual condolence book so the public can send notes of sympathy to the family of Bo Biden. The vice president's son, who was 46, died Saturday of brain cancer, a disease that kills more than 15,000 Americans every year. We asked our Dr. John LaPook to tell us more about it. Bo Biden suffered a mild stroke in 2010 and in 2013 underwent surgery to remove what was described as a small brain lesion, although the specifics are not public. The survival rates for brain cancer vary depending on the type of tumor. Most malignant brain tumors in adults are glioblastomas, which are highly aggressive. Treatment includes surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. But the median survival is about 14 months, and two-year survival is only 30%. This is Clara. 32-year-old Clara Guy was diagnosed with a brain tumor when she was pregnant with her second daughter in 2012. A year after surgery, the cancer returned as an advanced glioblastoma. And I would likely have approximately 6 to 18 months. I, I've got these two young kids. It's not stopping ground for me. And not only that, it felt like a punch in the stomach. So I needed a positive lookout, and it was, okay, who can we find that can have hope? In 2014, Clara was part of a clinical trial using immunotherapy at Duke University Medical Center. Since cancer often hides itself from the body's defense system, the strategy here is to manipulate immune cells to recognize and attack brain tumors. Dr. John Sampson is part of the team at Duke developing these immunotherapies. Once we rev up the immune system, the cells from the immune system that can actually track the tumor down, even in these deep crevices within the brain, and kill the cells in a very specific way without harming any of the cells around them. Finding cancer cells in those crevices within the brain is key because a main reason for the poor prognosis is that by the time a diagnosis is made, the tumor cells usually have spread microscopically beyond what's visible on CAT scan or MRI. So far, Clara Guy is doing well. Thank you, John.